do it. But I, I'll say this. If I was an incoming athletic director, I would want to be the athletic director at Houston because of the ceiling and the resources we have here in our city. You know, we don't have a low ceiling here. You know, some, some of the schools have low ceilings because of the town they and the opportunities for money raising or fundraising or new revenue streams uh, that those cities will provide. We're in Houston. Um, I think there's a, 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 a whole new frontier out there for us to ex explore. You know, we, we need, we need a little, uh, um, um, we need Lewis and Clark. We, we need somebody to go where we haven't been. We need to explore. We need new ideas. We need, um, and, and we have it. We have it here. You know, I remember what this basketball program looked like in 2014. Um, you know, people that has just jumped on our bandwagon the last few years, they don't remember where we came from. So they'll get spoiled when it, when it goes sideways a little bit, which inevitably all programs do. Um, but I won't. I'm, I remember. April of 2014, when this athletic director comes in, whoever he may be, he'll he'll remember uh, June or July or August, whenever it happens of uh, 2024. But uh, um, it's it's a tough job. Being an athletic director is a tough job. Um, it's one of those jobs that every nobody understands the difficulty of it. If you're on the outside looking in, you have no idea how hard it is to be an athletic director today on a college campus with all the mandates. Um, and think about it. We just went from the American Athletic Conference to the Big 12. It's like scaling a business. If you're scaling a business, the first thing you, you've got to do is spend money. And sometimes you have to spend money you don't have. Because one day to, to, to make it to where we need to go, what we need more than anything else is money. Now, these schools that have been in the Big 12, they've got 30 years of reserves. Uh, we don't have that, but we still have to spend the money that they're spending, but um, we're, we can't. And that's why our programs are so underfunded and under-resourced. And the only reason why is, is I don't think it's the fault of any one person. It's because we, we don't have any money. You think about all the schools that joined the Big 12 in 1997. Whatever the media rights contract was that each, each athletic department got from their TV deals starting in 97, that thing has escalated every year to 2024. So they've taken that money, and I'm sure they built huge reserves. Um, and, you know, you think about the decades, 97 to uh, 07 to 17. Now we're, we're closing in on 27. Every year they're getting between, let's say 30 and 40 million. And I'm just throwing a number out there. Well, we haven't had any of that yet. We're on the same conference as they are. And people on the outside, outside want us to be the same as them. It's going to take us a while. It, it's going to take us a while. Um, but I have great faith in this city. The reason why I think University of Houston can be a power in the uh, uh, Big 12 uh, is, number one, you better get the right person. And number two, uh, we're in Houston, Texas, man. Th this city is popping. You can get stuff done here. Um, but you've uh, you got to go do it. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for somebody. Uh, somebody's getting a great job. I, I don't care how bad it looks financially right now. Uh, I, me I, re I remember how I, I remember what it looked like in 2014. So it can get, it can get done. Better get the right person.